today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you. It's obvious now what I'm going to talk about. Today I'm going to talk about the power of love. And it's a great opportunity for couples and also people who are striving to get relationships to learn a little bit more about what defines love, why it's important, and why it really impacts our happiness. Now, love can be shown in many different ways, and some would argue that there's five languages of love. The first one, as many of you are probably doing today, is sharing gifts, whether it's roses, whether it's a dinner. That's the first one, and that is the power of gifts. The second one is words of affirmation. That means how you speak to your loved one. Third one is very, very important, to quality time. Do you know the time where you're chatting to your partner, but you're not giving your undivided attention? That's one that I get commonly with my clients. They're on their phone, they've got work meetings. So it's really important to look at the person you're speaking to, turn off your phone, and really engage in that active listening. The fourth one is acts of service. So doing, helping your partner with the little things that you're gonna do, such as helping them with the dishes, cooking, taking that strain from your partner. And the fifth one is physical touch. That share a kiss, give them a hug, place that hand on your partner's leg when you're watching a movie. Now, I know that's not easy for everyone, but if your partner needs that, then you're gonna to have to rise up to that occasion and be a little bit more outgoing. Now, a lot of people ask me, what are my tips for a long-lasting relationship? Bearing in mind I've been in all of um, I'm pretty much an expert to show you. The first three tips I would give are, the first one is, do what you always did at the start of a relationship, and your relationship will carry on growing. The second one is, take 100% responsibility. Don't leave it for your partner all the time. Look at any situation and see what can you control and do that aspect. And the third one is probably the most important, and that's to be honest. Honest about your expectations, your desires, and your wants and your needs. When you're looking for a relationship, you're looking for trust. So trust starts inside of us. So always be honest. Now I get a lot of people coming to me because they're searching for a relationship. They've been searching for a long time and some of them are on the point of giving up and returning back home from Dubai. And they're blaming the men and the women saying that it's their fault. But what I would say to, to everyone is always look within yourself. Be the best version of yourself. Keep working yourself, keep growing, and keep meeting new people and trying new experiences. When you're doing and being your best, then you're naturally gonna attract and be calmer. When you're happy and in love with yourself, you're gonna attract the partner that you deserve. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is, focus in on yourself first, be the best version of yourself, and just relax. You can find love in many different ways, while you're waiting for the right person to come in. If you feel like the relationship is, is on the edge at the moment and you feel like you're gonna break up at any point, then my first tip for you is stop. Believe that the relationship is going well and your behavior will change accordingly. If you were to ask me, what's so important in love, I would say it's self-love. You can't have a happy relationship with someone else outside of yourself unless you love yourself. You've got to come into a relationship being the best version of yourself. So what I say by self-love is talking to yourself in a very kind and caring way. When you look in the mirror, don't point out the things that you don't like. You know, the things that you love and start building up on those. Remember the good things that you're achieving in, the, in your day as well. So the more you stack up that, the more love will flow through you and the more you'll attract love. If you were to ask me to sum up the power of love, I'd say it's one of the most important aspects. It starts within ourselves, 
So love yourself, grow, learn, experience and contemplate. And then when you're in a happy place and you're not looking for it, when you're saying yes to opportunities, then you will attract the person you're meant to be. And when you're in that relationship, it's important to start slowly. Do small things every single day for yourself and for that person. And then when you're in a relationship, keep doing those small things throughout the relationship and watch it grow.